Christina Tozzi from Momo Fuku Milk Bar and we are going to make our compost cookie. Let's get going with the cookie dough. Fancy unsalted butter is the secret to a really great compost cookie or any cookie in the Milk Bar Cookbook. So we put our butter into the stand mixer and we start the process by creaming the butter with sugars. We use three different kinds of sugars, a granulated sugar, a light brown sugar, and we use glucose. It really helps create um, a fudgy center of the cookie even when the outside of the cookie um, is sort of like crunchy and toasty, which is, in my opinion, the best cookie. Once our butter and our sugars are in the stand mixer, we throw the paddle on and we start the mixing process. In the Breville mixer, it's great because we know that we're going to cream our butter and our sugars and it has the appropriate speed already spelled out for you. So we'll knock this up to the creaming speed, which is a nice medium-high speed. We're gonna let it go for two or three minutes. So when the two to three minute time is up and you know that your butter and your sugars have done an ample amount of creaming, you can tell by the volume and the color, turn the mixer down. We're going to put a large egg, just crack it right into the bowl. And we're going to throw the mixer back on up to cream. All right, so we're up at cream. We're going to watch our timer on the mixer for another seven or eight minutes. AP flour, just your standard AP flour. Leaveners, baking powder, baking soda, and kosher salt. We're gonna give this dry mixture just a minute in the mixer so that it sort of grabs on to all the fatty, sugary pieces. And then we're gonna add in all of the sort of fun mixes that make the compost cookie so special. Mini chocolate chips, better distribution of chocolate chips. Mini butterscotch chips as well for the same reason, just a better distribution throughout the dough. Just your standard Quaker whole oats. Some coffee grounds, and it's the unbrewed coffee grounds. Don't go like digging into your, um, <laughs> to like the top of your Mr. Coffee. Graham crumbs, like you can buy at the grocery store. Throw that in. We're gonna give these first ingredients another little mix. Just a few go rounds will do. And then for the big stuff, we do pretzels and potato chips. And the secret to this last step is you want sort of a little bite of potato chip and a, you want to be able to see a little bit of pretzel so you're going to be really gentle and quick with this last mix. And that's it. I like to give the dough just one sort of flip over to make sure that really everything on the bottom has been mixed through. And we scoop the cookie dough. It's a two and three quarter ounce scoop. I personally think it's the perfect size cookie. They might look sort of like a little, a little funky when you go to scoop them, but that's what makes them so great when they come out of the oven. It makes them so different. So there we go. Our compost cookie dough had some time in the fridge to chill in sort of a hard cookie ball. Our oven is preheated, and we're just going to arrange them on a cookie tray, two to three inches apart. The really cool thing about this oven is that it has a convection function, which means it has a fan in it that's evenly distributing all of the heat throughout, so you don't have to check on it at all. You can literally just set the timer for 18 minutes and walk away. So, pop it in, we'll set our timer, and we'll walk away. All right, 18 minutes is up. We have nice golden brown cookies right out of the oven. So delicious. We're gonna have a really nice fudgy ring in the center and a really nice crispy on the outside. A warm cookie really is sort of the best thing in the world. 